another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mat. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three map Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for Ladies the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the team. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And the Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. Knee to the body. 
Muay Thai plump. Lee gets hit with a kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. And just misses with that big right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. In the clinch. Big body punch, giving his entire hip into every single strike. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. What a tricky head kick. Oh, a huge block there. Made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Punch over the top. Back and forth we go. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, a little single collar tie there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Nice punch lands over the top. Whoa! What a fantastic... Oh! Him up. We'll get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, trying to pass here. As Grover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Get out of there. 20 seconds left. Let's go, guys, work. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Final seconds. Two next. Hey, All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. there as he blocks the shot. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Missed with that right hand. Big kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so whoa! He needs to start 
look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, spinning back He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Superman punch. Single collar tie now. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Nice body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Nice one, two there. He's got him in the clinch once again. All right, so just like we saw in round one, really starting to get that hook going here in round two, as Adam Sandler might say in Happy Gilmore. Plenty more where that came from. Yeah. Plenty, <laughs> plenty more where that came from, and he is more than happy to continue serving him up. He's serving hook after hook after hook. And if this guy does not make any adjustments, he's gonna get knocked out and on someone high like this. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him. Stop throwing. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Beautiful strike. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured him. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fight. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrill with this ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Good stick. Oh, single collar tie here. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Beautiful kick. Oh, Superman punch. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down, or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. They continue to exchange. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice strike. Just missed with the straight left hand. Nice kick there by Lee. And that one certainly found the target. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And they separate. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big body kick land. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. That's a big strike right there. Oh man, head to land. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. What a punch. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Excellent land by him there with the uppercut. If he had changed the angle, that could have been a knockdown. I mean, he threw every part of himself into that strike. Watch the shot. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands through the middle. Liver kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, nice counter. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 15 seconds remain in the round. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Checks the leg kick. Oh, collar tie. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Slips. That knee might have landed there. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, another knee by Lee. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and another knee by Lee. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. That knee might have landed there. And yet another knee finds the target. Strong work there by Lee. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, and he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming, high or low. Every time he throws them, they're landing. That knee might have landed there. Oh, another knee by Lee. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. And he's back up. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 90 seconds remain in the round. Strong thought of work here, staying busy. Lee's pass is denied. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. One minute to go in the round. Lee, ground and pound from half guard now. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. 30 seconds to go. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. The bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And they separate. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection, it's blocked. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? There, great job using his left in that situation. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Nice leg kick. that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he 